Hey everyone, my name is Manila and I live in the US. I am a 2022 tech girl and today I will be talking about the tech girls program, mainly what you can expect and my own experience. First, let's talk about tech girls in general. As seen on their website, Tech Girls is a free international summer exchange program designed to empower and inspire young women from around the world to pursue careers in science and technology. It provides girls with STEM skills by giving them opportunities to enhance their skills and pursue their dreams. They accept people from 35 different countries, and this year around 120 girls, or sorry, 130 girls, to attend this three-week US-based programs. The program takes place at Virginia Tech University in the US for the majority of the program. You will also receive job shadow experience in different US cities where you will learn about different STEM careers. And then finally, the program comes to a close in the nation's capital. In total, you will receive around 40 hours of classes, 30 hours of workshops, and two full work days of job shadowing. At the end of the program, you will also be able to explore different attractions, such as museums, the Capitol Building, and even NASA. The application process is a three-stage process. First, you apply by filling out the application on their website. You fill out a few personal details, submit a list of your extracurriculars, and then respond to a few essay questions about your passions, interests, and why you would like to attend the program as a whole and how you will think you will benefit. Once you submit your application, they will review it and get back to you with results. If you are accepted, you move on to the second stage, the interview process. They will present you with a few questions about yourself and the program, and your interview will be either online or recorded depending on where you live. If you pass that stage, congrats! You are accepted into the Tech Girls program. Once I was accepted, Tech Girls sent me all the information I needed, and they also booked my flight ticket to arrive in DC in July. Once everyone arrives in DC, we are all split up by our pod or research groups. There are a few different research groups that you can choose based on your interest, you will do this prior to arriving, and you will be assigned to one of those research groups. This group is now called your pod, and you will stay with them and do everything with them. Activities, classes, just everything in general. After we split up by pod, we travel by bus to Virginia Tech, which took around 4 hours. We are then assigned to dorms with roommates where we live during our time at Virginia Tech. My pod was environmental engineering, in which we learned about water systems and how they work. We used Python to model experiments and data that represented different aspects of the river. Compared to other pods, ours was a little bit less tech heavy, but I really enjoyed it. We learned a lot and it was really fun, and once we learned some general information about our research group, our pod itself split up into five smaller groups for our classes to do some more in-depth research about a specific topic. Our schedule looks something like this. In the morning, after breakfast, we had classes about our specific research group which lasts around four hours. After lunch and rest time, we had evening classes, usually college readiness, leadership, or community action planning, which I'll explain soon, for around two to three hours. After that, we had rest time and dinner, and after dinner, we spend some time with our pod, then head back to the dorms to unwind and sleep. Community action planning is part of one of your requirements to fulfill as a tech girl. Once the program ends, you are required to create and implement a project that will benefit your community. For mine, I created an organization, Women Who Tech, which is a nonprofit that strives to narrow the gender gap in technology by providing free coding classes to both girls and women. During our last few days at Virginia Tech, we had a virtual job shadow experience. During this time, we met with many wonderful people from major US companies and cities, and they talked to us and answered all of our questions about their career, what it was like, their thoughts, recommendations, and so much more. It was honestly such a unique and informative experience that I am really thankful to have had. During our last days of pod classes, each of our small groups presented our findings and experiments on the specific topics that we were broken up into and researched. We also presented our final ideas about our community action planning topics. After the two weeks are up at VT, we all head back to DC as a pod. Here we will have the chance to visit many amazing places and meet new people who will talk about their careers in technology and STEM. My personal favorites were the Smithsonian Museum and NASA. 
The last and final destination of Tech Girls is the Catastone, the final event before we all leave back to our homes. This event, which takes place at the Department of State in DC, will wrap up our experience at Tech Girls. Like many others this year, I felt that Tech Girls went by way too fast. While this was my first time away from home, like many others, everyone was so nice and we all adapted to the environment rather quickly. As a pod, we became very close, very fast, and all of us got to know each other really, really well. We became best friends and our group chat was literally never silent, even now. Classes were also so fun, so props to our professors and TAs. They always made sure to keep us engaged and made sure we understand, understood what was going all on at all times. My favorite memory was our pod Olympics, where all four pods competed against each other in various athletic events to find out which pod was the best. We played volleyball, basketball, badminton, and even had a number of running events. Of course, our pod came in first, and it was so, so fun. Tech Girls overall was just such an amazing and informative experience, and I truly will never forget it, ever. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I will gladly respond. Bye!